Hello everyone and welcome back here to Comic Vantage. And yes, this whole setup, everybody, everybody knows what this means. We've got a cup of coffee, we have package opening tools, we have a nice little stand right here, and that means one thing, mailbag day. Yes, we are back with another exciting episode of Mailbag Day. And this is mailbag day number 60. Yes, lovely number 60, and there is a beautiful little stack of books right there. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad to be back doing mailbag days. Uh, I know a lot of you out there have missed these. They're so much fun. Uh, the stack is returning, so I will be putting them out more often now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm so glad, so glad to be back. Okay, so first up, nice little yummy sip of coffee. Let's see what we got here. Mm hmm. Now, no mailbag day would be complete without a package of shame. Yes, that is right. We have a package of shame. Now, this technically, you know, it's kind of semi package of shame. As you can see, it is just a manila envelope. I do not know what kind of, there's no bends or creases, so I wasn't too worried about it. it looks like it survived. And then, you know, lovely do not bend, but wow, does it feel flimsy. All right, so let's get started. Let's open this up and see what's in our first package. Let's see, where do I want to begin at? Actually, that feels good right there. Right up the side. Woohoo! <laughs> yep, there's our padding. A priority mail envelope. Oh, and it's not even a whole priority. Oh, I'm sorry. They used two Seriously? Two prior... Oh! Oh! <laughs> and a manila envelope. Oh, no, that that there, that is some packing, people. Uh, like I said, though, the book did come through unscathed, so... <laughs> I mean, at least we had three pieces of cheap cardboard to protect it. Oh, man, okay. That is... I mean, that's... You know, how can you not laugh about something like that? Seriously. Ah. Oh. Now, if it had gotten damaged, I wouldn't be laughing. All right, so, what do we got? Hey, a Magneto number zero. I always loved this book. I think I've gotten it a few times before in mailbag days. Whenever I see it for a good price, I usually pick it up. Oh, it needs a new bag and board. It looks like it's been in here since, you know, the day it was released. I, I love this book. It's such a great story when I talk about it when I was younger. And how I begged my dad for $10 to take me to the comic book store to pick this up. Because I wanted it so bad. I don't even know why it was 10 bucks back then. You can grab it for like 99 cents now. But anyway, memories. That's why it was $10. All right, next up. Padded envelope. Cardboard in there. That is correct. We should be all good. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Yep, like I said, cardboard. Woo. All right, so we're going to start stacking trash. Okay. That's another one. It looks like it's been in there since the day it came out. All right. Let's see. What are you? You are... Oh, we are on an awesome Magneto run here. Fatal Attractions, issue number 25. X-Men, The Death of a Dream. This is the battle... Oh, I gotta love that hologram cover, card stock. This is the issue where Magneto lives Wolverine up in the air and just rips his adamantium out. Oh, such a great read. I remember being in shock reading this as a kid. And yeah, this bag and board are so old. I mean, you can see how yellow that board is. Like I said, it's probably been in here since the day it was released. Oh, man. Back when your comic book store actually put your books in bags and boards. 1993 it's my let's see what month october 93 so i was beginning my senior year of high school yep there it is there's the scene god i remember reading this and just going holy crap i could not believe it it was insane that that had actually happened all right okay Whew, love that Okay, next up, a nice big stack and Gemini mailers, because people know how to mail their books. Gemini mailers, coming at you. All right. 
Okay, this one here. I don't know what they were thinking. Looks like they put our books right side out. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna take this off camera so you guys don't see it. I know what this is, but you do not. Alright. Okay, nice little stack of books. Now I know exactly what these are. Now I had to buy the entire pack because this was the only way to get this book for a good price. Uh, the single issue that I wanted from this pack was just incredibly, insanely overpriced. So let's get started. Now, what is this? Aphrodite 9. This is Aries. What issue is this? I don't even know. Maybe it's the Aries is the issue number? Who knows? Not why I bought it. <laughs> uh, hey, we got two of those. Look at that. Let's see what else we got here. Aphrodite 9, issue number 5. Woohoo! Most of these are going to become mystery box fodder. Oh, did I say that? Mystery box fodder? Aphrodite 9, issue number 4, D. The D cover. Yes, there are lots of covers for some of these books. Aphrodite 9, number 3, the A cover. Aphrodite 9, number 3. Man, you know, back in the day, Lynch, he, his artwork just amazing. It still is. I follow him on YouTube with his all these tutorials and stuff that he does. Aphrodite 9, issue number 2. Let's see what else we got. Aphrodite 9, issue number 2, again. And Aphrodite 9, issue number 1. Mm -hmm. Awesome cover. Now, oh, it already fell over. So, anyway, guys, this is the reason I bought it. Aphrodite 9, issue number 4, the B cover. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Like I said, this book here was uh, pretty pricey all the way around uh, on most auctions on eBay, except this lot. This lot was so much cheaper. My stand came apart. That's why you guys were falling. Look at that. All right. So anyway, like I said, the rest of these are going to become mystery box fodder. This one here is probably going to go to my PC. I've been wanting that book for a long time. So I'm going to stick you guys over here. We are never going to look at them again. They've been banished. All right, what else we got? Next up, another Gemini mailer. You know, a lot of these sellers have been doing Gemini mailers lately. I wonder if people have been watching my <clears throat> How to Pack Comics video because they've been doing a lot better job than they were a few years ago before I put that video out. That video gets a lot of hits. So tons of people are watching it, taking my advice to heart. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Man, that, <laughs> that cover is seriously yellow. I mean, like crazy yellow. All right, let's find out. What are you? You are? Oh, look at that. Evil Earning Revenge, issue number one, the premium cover, signed by Brian Polito, Stephen Hughes, and Jason Jensen. Oh, it looks like it's just in an extra mylar. Oh, awesome. Okay. Whew. That yellow isn't part of it. <laughs> okay. We are going to get rid of that because this has the original Chaos Comics logo right there and a certificate of authenticity. Now, if you look closely, this certificate of authenticity is a barf bag. No joke. They packed the certificate of authenticity on a barf bag for this comic. I loved this. This is one book I've always wanted to get, and I finally found one at a great price. I love the green foil. The regular cover of this, all the stuff that's green foil, is actually glowing in the dark. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I am so, so happy to have that in my collection. Ah. Oh. All right. Man, I could stare at that all day. <laughs> 1996, and these, only 4,000 of these are printed. I wonder how many of them are still floating around. 
I do see those pop up every so often, but without the barf bag. It's like, what happened to that? All right, next up. This is a big one. Oh, I know what this is. That's the only bad thing about having to restart my... Uh, my... Uh, stack because I know what's in it. I used to not know what was in any of these packages. All right, I'm just going to pull this out of here. Let's see, a little rip here, a little rip there. Come on, we can do this. This is technically not a comic book. A little something I picked up for myself just to have some fun with. I'm just going to put it right out. That's right, I bought a coloring book. <laughs> That is just way too much fun. This is the Spawn Adult Coloring Book. Man, this thing is massive. Now, I bought this, and you see there's nothing on the back, so you don't ruin the backside. I bought this because I want to practice coloring. Bought nice sets of alcohol markers, got some colored pencils and stuff, and I want to practice my colors. Something I never really did. And I figure, what better way than with an adult coloring book? Man, and some of these are just so detailed. It's going to be a blast to color some of this stuff. Really excited for that. And of course, it starts right off with Spawn issue number one cover. Beautiful. All right. We're going to stick that to the side now. Let's see what's next. We only have two packages left. All right. What are you... piece of cardboard that can be saved. Alright. Alright. Survey says Evil Ernie, Master of Annihilation. I'm on an Evil Ernie kick right here. Now this thing. This is also the premium cover. Now if you look really close, there's kind of a white, bumpy outline behind here. That's because this is a glow-in-the-dark picture of Lady Death and Evil Ernie right here. Oh, it's so cool. I absolutely love that cover. Man, this is gorgeous. This is another one. When I see it for a great price, I always pick it up. I'm a huge, huge, huge 90s Evil Ernie fan. I absolutely loved Evil Ernie back in the day. My uh, very fast first tattoo is actually a smile, the psychotic button. Uh, I got that when I was 19 years old. Crazy. I've actually had that tattoo longer than I have not had it. <laughs> All right. And one more. Last, but certainly not least. Let's see what we got here. Open this bad boy up. There's some nice packaging here as well. Got a receipt that I need to get rid of. And this came to us from JP Sports Cards. Follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. They are in Cape Coral, Florida. There's their address. Their URL for their website. Oh, they have two locations. The Gulf Coast and Cape Coral. Look at that. These guys really did well by me. So I, wouldn't, I don't mind giving them a plug. And you will see what I am talking about here. Okay, I guess i got to get out of this bubble wrap. Do do do. All right. As you can see, whatever I bought, I paid three ninety nine for. What did I buy for three ninety nine? Ba ba da da. Pop scars issue number one, the one in five variant cover. Who? Now I actually spotlighted this book as uh, my pick of the week not too long ago. It was out a few weeks ago. This is the 1 in 5 variant cover from Sumerian Comics. Now, this is actually a great read, a lot of fun. But this cover in particular, it's like the only ratio they had, the 1 in 5. Uh, most places were selling this book for about 20 bucks when I was searching for it. It was like $15, $20 all over. Even Midtown was selling this for $15 bucks online, $20 on eBay. 
and JP Sports actually had it for cover price on their website, and they had two copies. So I grabbed them both. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> now, I will probably keep one for my PC and put the other in a mystery box, because that is a gorgeous book, and it deserves to be in a mystery box. All right, people, that's it. Mm. Let's recap what I got. Pop Stars, issue number one, the one in five variant covers. Take that out of here. Evil Artie, Master of Annihilation, the premium glow-in-the-dark cover. I got my Spawn Adult coloring book. I cannot wait to tear into that. Evil Artie Revenge, the signed edition. Look at that. Brian Polito, Stephen Hughes, Jason Jensen. That was the trio right there. Man, so good. My Aphrodite 9, issue number 4. That's the B cover. X-Men number 25, the Fatal Attractions hologram cover. There it is. Good old Gambit hologram. And Magneto number 0, foil cover. So good. All right. Let's do this right here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. If you like this kind of content, let me know down in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the little CV right there. Make sure you give me a like, sub, all that kind of good stuff. Um, if you're already subbed, thank you so much. And to my channel members, you guys are awesome. Your names are scrolling right here with a huge, huge, huge thank you. And like always, guys, thank you so much for watching and take it easy.